Hello again, it's Steve from the Strassenberg Planetarium with questions and answers about Jupiter and Saturn in our sky. Is there something happening in the sky with Jupiter and Saturn? Yes, on Monday, December 21st, 2020, Jupiter and Saturn appear so close in the sky that they might seem to merge into one point of light as viewed with average eyesight. Are they crashing into each other? No, Saturn is more than 450 million miles beyond Jupiter. They just happen to be along the same line of sight from Earth. How rare is this? Jupiter and Saturn come close to each other in the sky about every 20 years, but rarely this close. According to calculations by Professor Patrick Hardigan at Rice University, Jupiter and Saturn appear this close only eight times between the years 0 CE and 3000 CE. What will it look like? Jupiter and Saturn look like bright stars easily visible with average eyesight in a clear sky. Jupiter is very bright, Saturn noticeably fainter. When they are closest, the combination will not look extra bright, it'll look more or less like Jupiter. This fall, both planets appear low in the southwestern sky just after sunset. Start looking for them shortly after 5 o'clock. Where is the best place to go to view this event? Any place that gives you a clear view of your southwestern horizon without trees, houses, or buildings blocking your view. What time should I look? Start looking shortly after sunset about 5 o'clock. Don't wait too long. By about 6 o'clock, the two planets will be so low that they are likely to be hidden behind trees and buildings on your horizon. I live in Florida, or Russia. Will I be able to see it? Weather permitting, yes. The view is slightly better closer to Earth's equator because Jupiter and Saturn appear higher above the horizon. But no matter where you are, look southwest just after sunset for Jupiter appearing as a bright star-like light with Saturn nearby fainter. Start tonight. Will the merged planets flare up into a super bright star? No, Saturn is noticeably fainter than Jupiter. When they are closest, the combination will not look extra bright. It'll look pretty much like Jupiter. Will the planetarium be having a viewing, showing, or looking? Unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic has made it impossible for us to offer public viewing safely. Besides, the planetarium's location, surrounded by trees, will not provide a good view of the sky near the horizon. We encourage you to look from home or from someplace near home, and we will be recreating the event in the Star Theater Dome as part of every performance of our shows The Sky Tonight and Hubble's Immersive Universe till the end of the year. What can I do right now to help ensure I get a good view? Do not wait until December 21st. Look for Jupiter tonight and every night for the rest of the month. Make Jupiter your friend. Get to know its appearance and location. Then you will be able to follow the approach between Jupiter and Saturn night by night. What's a spectacular sky picture I should not miss? Look for Jupiter and Saturn on the evenings of December 16th, 17th, and 18th, that's a Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, when a thin crescent moon appears in the same part of the sky. Jupiter and Saturn are very close on those evenings. Should I look at this with a telescope? Certainly you should try it if you have a telescope. To prepare, start looking for Jupiter tonight. Get to know the appearance of its four large moons, which appear as bright points of light on either side of Jupiter in a telescope. On December 21st, Saturn's brighter moons will appear entangled with Jupiter's as seen with medium magnification. What is something I may already have seen that is as close as Jupiter and Saturn on December 21st, 2020? Sky watchers may be familiar with the double star in the middle of the handle of the Big Dipper, sometimes called the Horse and Rider. The double includes a brighter star, Mizar, with a fainter star, Alcor, very close to it. The story is often told that these were used as a test of eyesight by ancient military commanders. The separation between Mizar and Alcor is about twice the separation Jupiter and Saturn will have on December 21st. On fall and early winter evenings, the Big Dipper is very low in the northern sky, so you will need to look from a location with a clear view to the north if you want to look at it for comparison. When was the last time this happened? The last time Jupiter and Saturn appeared this close was on July 16, 1623, but they were very close to the direction of the setting sun, so practically invisible in the bright glare of sunset. The time before that, when Jupiter and Saturn were at least as close as this month, was on March 4, 1226. On that date, Jupiter and Saturn, accompanied by brilliant Venus, appeared early in the morning, rising in the southeastern sky before the sun. When is the next time we will see something like this? 
Jupiter and Saturn come near each other in the sky about every 20 years. The next conjunctions, as they're called, will be in 2040 and 2060, but the two planets will not appear especially close. The conjunction on March 15, 2080 will be almost as close as the one this year. So what again? Just after sunset, that's a little after 5 o'clock, look low in the southwestern sky for a bright star, Jupiter. Look close to it for a fainter star, Saturn. Check every evening. On December 21st, those two planets appear closer than they have in hundreds of years. 